Alrighty everyone, so this looks clearly like Kings Island. Y'all know what Kings Island looks like by now. And it's Haunt. We're doing all day at Haunt today. We got Squeak Doo here. So we're actually going to check out and see like what Snoopy's up to during the day. And then it's going to be Halloween haunts during the night. And I like that I don't see a Christmas tree. That is good. And we will know that this is the first weekend of it. This is the very first weekend. Um, we actually, so you might be wondering, well, where's their Universal Horror Nights? We um, had to rearrange. Uh, things happened. Things happened. Uh, Rona things happened. But, you know, unlike, unlike some people, because I have a suspicion that um, some people like straight up go to Disney and Universal even if they have the Rona. We're, yeah, we are, uh, everyone in the household is negative, so we'll be going to Orlando for Christmas time, and yeah, we are, yeah, the corn stalks, these corn stalks are nice, so yeah, we were able to just go ahead and have a nice entire day here at King's Island for, this will probably be two vlogs though, we'll do Snoopy and the daytime stuff, and then we'll do the haunt at night because haunt, I notice those vlogs take a minute. So, yeah, we're gonna have some fun. It's a King's Island sort of day today. Beagle. One note on this Commodore Plus Four will send you to a faraway land. <laughs> So, change of plans. Yeah, it's, this doesn't look like King's Island. Yeah, this isn't... <laughs> so, you're not going to see any Snoopy stuff today. Um, you're... Yeah. Um, you're not seeing Snoopy stuff. It, it was, was Toyota's, Toyota's Dividend, Dividend Day. Day. So, note to anyone planning a visit to King's Island um, in September. Don't do a Saturday in September. So. As a general rule. Because companies... Procter & Gamble's Dividend Day was well, last week. Toyota's is this week. I bet some other company has one next week. The sad thing is we could have got in if it was last week because yeah, we could've, our amp yeah, our, passes. Yeah, you, you remember my cousin from last year who knows um, uh, uh, Kings Island in and out and backwards. Um, if he's watching, yeah. he's probably laughing right it's, now. He, <laughs> yeah, yeah, Joe, it's, it, it's a little bit of irony there. But um, uh, thank you, Debbie and Joe, for uh, sending us the uh, the ticks. Um, we definitely appreciated that. But... Um, yeah, um, plans were different. This has been a week of changed plans, I guess. But, um, yeah, so... So, we can't enter until 7. Yeah, we can't enter Haunt until it 7. It seems silly to go all the way back home. So, yeah, so we we're just, like, watching the movie Regal theater. Deerfield, I think it's called. Regal Cinema 16 in the Deerfield, yeah. And we're going to see The Nun too. Yeah. yeah. Jordan hasn't it's, seen The Nun 1, so he I, might be a little uh, confused. To be fair, I'm probably just going to sleep, but it seems like a nice theater so far. We haven't been in the auditorium. They got games, a nice little refreshment area. Staff seems friendly. The bathroom's so clean. Bathroom's clean, so it's what you would expect or ask for in a movie theater so we're gonna catch there's a, a movie cats the there's Marvel cats Spencer. on the marbles i yeah i marveled out guys I'm, I'm so behind but i'm totally gonna watch the new season of loki when it drops and i'll just be like huh? <laughs> i know they oh need my to, god we haven't need to chill. seen a marvel movie since shang chi yeah. Actually, I think that's even wrong because I think the Immortals came out before Shang Chi, and we didn't see that either. Yeah. So. But we definitely have not seen months of Shang Chi. Yeah. So. Yeah. So there'll be a lot of hum when it comes to that. But anyway, yeah. So, haunt coming up in a bit. No, um, no Snoopy Day stuff. So, we'll just hang out. I can't recommend coming to Kings Island on a Saturday. In September, because unless you're part of a dividend yeah. day, we don't don't plan to go to. Yeah. Excited because um, Jordan works the type of job like where he works weekends. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I, I, I so typically work weekends, so me that's being why off we on a Saturday is the rare. Stuff before yeah. because we haven't been able to get there until it's already done for the day. I know, and I know everyone has been wanting to see Snoopy stuff, but you know. 
Yeah. We're... Maybe next year we'll just have you take a day off in October. We'll see. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see. I'll, I'll have to count my days, and we might we might just do that, you know? Yeah. Why not? Anyway, so yeah, Regal Cinema 16 looks nice, and then after this, we're heading back over to Haunt. And hopefully there won't be any shenanigans there. I'll get to our thoughts on the Nun 2. Yeah, we might... We, yeah, we'll do that as well. Yeah. Alrighty, Nun 2. This is the poster for the Nun 2. Well, actually, you're seeing more reflection of uh, the cinema's parking lot there. <laughs> I liked it. It was good. Yeah, when it first started, I was kind of like, oh, I don't know about this. This seems a little on the stupid side, but it, like, it picked up and got pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. It was a good horror. Um, it good has atmosphere dark and... academia vibes. Yeah. Was... School and it kind of looked like Hogwarts, but like yeah. religious, religious Hogwarts. Religious Hogwarts. So, yeah, like, yeah. And, you know, um... It wasn't entirely anti-religious or anti-Catholic. Well, I mean, they're not going to make the Conjuring Universe movie be anti-religious. Anti-religious, or yeah, yeah. So like, it's, it's all tied into to the, the Warrens. Warrens. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, you could do worse than the Nun so too. So you say you would prefer the Nun to Annabelle? Yes, a Nun to Annabelle, definitely. And, yeah, this is kind of the outside of the Regal Cinema 16 in uh, Mason. A very nice theater, huge um, ceilings. But now, we're getting... It's not quite time for us to enter King's Island. Yeah. But there's, there's nothing not else really for us to like, do. Not even, like, a Starbucks like, or anything nearby, so... Yeah, like, we this might is... We well just head on over. And we'll sit and wait for them to let us into haunts. Like, All right, everyone, so... We made it into King's Island's Halloween haunt. The opening ceremony is going on, but we don't really have time to rush over and get it. It was pretty much half over by the time we got here. We got our fancy lanyards for Fright Lane. And boy, do we need it, because there's one or two people here tonight. And um, I'm bringing the, we have a small lounge fly backpack. They gave us, they weren't thrilled about that, but um, we have some medications, doctor's orders. Uh, Got to take some meds, so um, since we had those in the backpack, it was permissible, and they gave us a red tag. But for future reference, guys, don't, don't bring in bags. Um, we'll figure out something else in the future for medications and doctor's orders, you know? But, um, yeah, so we're hitting up the restroom, filling some water bottles, and now we're going to have some fun at Haunt. It's, there's a lot of people, and there's a vibe tonight, a vibe that I'm not loving, but there's definitely a vibe, but Haunt is always a good time, so I'm looking forward to what all we got here tonight. Bigfoot! Bigfoot, yeah! Bigfoot is great. You love to see him, guys. We are back. The spooky season is inaugurated now. Well, now he ain't gonna talk. Now that I'm recording him. What's up, bro? Halloween time is best time, right, bro? Alrighty, everyone. So we're almost at the graveyard here. Uh, we got names on this thing. Um, McClure, Brill, Shapiro, Holloway, Tysol. I don't know what the, what significance those names uh, have, but um, you have the Haunthurst with the Ohio license plate, be afraid. I mean, you should be afraid whenever you are in Ohio, you know? Yeah. And, yeah, we're doing things a little bit differently tonight. This is a very different haunt than we normally experience. We thought it, the day would look different than how it ended up looking. Oh, wizard cat. So cute. Gotta love wizard cat there. Wizard cat is a good time. And Pumpkin Monocle. Gotta love it. That's a, that's a good kind of pallbearer to have, because they wouldn't get tired. But I don't know if they would really have the muscle for a really fat dude. Ah, well. Make no bones about it, this is what you need at your funeral. You think that hearse would pick him up? Yeah, I know, right? Like, come on. But, I mean, once you get to the graveyard, you know, you, you can't, like, hearse your way, like, directly into the ground. So, yeah, well. 
have a little golf cart. Yeah, well, we're not going to pick any bones with them, you know. Oh, he's trying Ooh. to get out. Ooh, he wants to escape. Well, alrighty, guys, the troll is fenced in now, so that's good. Because, yeah, you see him moving, he, he ain't moving as good as he used to because people kept pulling on him. True, true. Huh. Sounds like me when Squeak is playing Dollhouse or Tears of the Kingdom or um, any other video game. Well, just because I'm old, you know? <laughs> you rest up, big guy. It's not our fault death's in love with us. I know, right? Alrighty, everyone. I don't know what scare zone this is, but, um... Abandoned. It looks cool though. We got jack-o'-lanterns hanging up there. Yeah, we did um, the first two houses. We did Slaughterhouse and uh, Madame Fatale's. Pretty much the same as last year, but always a good time. And that one guy he at Slaughterhouse, he got me last year. He got me this year. Yeah. Yeah. So. They kind of split us up. Yeah, they, uh, like, yeah, it was, uh, it was pretty good. And this is a nice scare zone. I don't know, do we get monsters in here, or? Let's just vibe it. Let's just vibe. Yeah. Yeah. This is how you vibe at Haunt, guys. If you like pumpkins, everyone likes pumpkins. Actually, I don't like pumpkin. Actually, I don't like pumpkin flavored things. Scandalous. Yeah, no. Unforgivable. Yeah. Unforgivable! Like dropping President like, like drop in President Hudson in Tears of the Kingdom. Yeah, unforgivable. Happy pumpkins. Happy pumpkins. Kind of goofy pumpkin. All sorts of pumpkins. They don't have any that are really elegant and Britishly awesome where we could say smashing pumpkin. Because remember, smashing's an adjective, not a verb. Yeah. Like, it's like how you say, oh, that's smashing, dear boy. That's what they mean when they refer to themselves as the smashing pumpkins. Yeah. We vibe and I like. Alrighty, everyone. So we just did some houses. We did Hotel Saint Michel, Love it. and we did Kill Mart. Yeah. And now we're getting ready for the um, sci-fi house. Um, Kill Mart was interesting because I noticed the uh, toy section is actually the prizes that you can win if you play the games here. So that's kind of a nice Easter egg. But we're getting ready for the alien. Um, house. I forget what it's actually called. Something, something, alien abyss, something, something, aliens are fun. But this is also a scare zone. See? Look at these creepy people. You know, last year, I don't think I really got footage of whatever this is. Look at that. That's cool stuff right there. Yeah. 
alien scare zone. It's a good time. So now we want to do the house. Um, we need to go to fast lane. The line for just the regular is insanely long. So where do we go for our fast lane? We'll find that out. All right, everyone. So now we're getting ready to do Coney Mall. We just did Alien Abyss. That was horrible. It kind of was an abyss. Yeah, it was wandering around in the dark. Like, it was so bad. We're wondering if it was even finished in time for opening night. I know. That was horrendous. Chaos was so much better. This is, it was different from the previous year, so. They had like an pre-show, but. Yeah, they had a pre-show, which kind of reminded us of some of the houses in um, Universal Japan. But by and large, it looks like they spent all their money on the pre-show and nothing for the actual house. A lot of it was just walking in the complete dark. Yeah, it was walking in the complete dark. It, it wasn't good, guys. A Alien Abyss, I'm sorry. This you. running into someone else. The scare was running into someone else. There were The people behind me were constantly up me. But we, we're at Coney Mall now with some clowns. <laughs> See? Coney Mall is always a good time, but Alien Abyss? Not a good time. What's up? What are you doing? What are you doing? I don't know. I don't know either. <laughs> Siamese Dream right there. And in the background we have the uh, mandatory um, Someone's Watching Me song. You have to have that at your theme park Halloween events. It's mandatory. And uh, it's also mandatory to not copyright strike me. Um, yeah, I think the ice cream truck's to the left, Squeak Doo. Let's look at the ice cream truck. It's kind of like the video for uh, today. That's that's the one, right? Where they were in the ice cream truck? Yeah. Sexily arrives on the ice cream truck. Sexily arrives on the ice cream truck. Yeah, see? Look, we got the little clown driver. What do we got? Auntie Anne's. Oh, and it's filled with ants. Arachniconia. A plus. Oh, like um, a blood type. Superfly. Bugsy. Eats Thomas's ice cream. It's good. Yeah, so this is the... Uh, Creepy ice cream truck. I scream, you scream. See? That's a dairy scream. Nice. Good times. <laughs> Look at that clown's neckins. That's some ET stuff right there. Yeah. So many clowns. Ugh. You know, while I hate clowns, I'm actually more afraid of just like normal Bozo the Clown. I mean, these are not good either, but like just normal Bozo the Clown. What about Harley Quinn? And Harley Quinn a little less so because she's not like clown, you know? But like. And which Harley Quinn do you prefer, Margot Robbie or Lady Gaga? Uh, well, the Lady Gaga one ain't out yet, is it? There's been screen casts. Well, I mean, I can't possibly know, you know? But animated, the animated series is the best one, obviously. Yeah. yeah. But, like, yeah, and, like... Yeah, when you think Margot Robbie, that's what you think of. Harley Mar or Barbie? Margot Robbie? I... You know, it's funny, the amount of time I spend thinking about Margot Robbie is, like, negligible, but, um... Well, that's your problem. Yeah. You only need to increase your Margot Robbie thing. I need to increase Margot Robbie. The Jester? Yeah. And this is the, uh, DJ dance party over here, where we don't copyright our bros. All right, everyone. So there's some rock and roll music happening. The fountain is freaking out. And we are heading to dinner. And how is it that haunts go so quickly? I know. 
Well. Oh, nice. Got some monsters. Nice. I think that might have been a birthday snort for Squeak Dude. Yeah. Wish her a happy birthday in the comments. Her birthday is Wednesday. So, yeah. It's Saturday tonight, guys. But, um, yeah. Yeah, wish her a... Uh, it would have already passed by the time I uploaded this. But wish her a happy birthday. You guys liking that view? The Eiffel Tower at Haunt. The fountain freaking out. And... The, the guy's been working on some of the pyrotechnics for the fountain um, all throughout our dinner tonight. I know. I was like, oh my god, there's a there. Yeah, you know, it's like, oh, the, what, what's that dude doing there? But, yeah, I think he was working and uh, touching stuff up here in the fountain. So. I mean, they seem to be fine to me, but... Yeah, they, they seem fine, but, you know, this sort of thing requires, like, constant maintenance and checking... Because if something goes wrong, you could probably, you know, burn down the whole park. So, yeah, we don't we don't want to do that. Pizza would, be extra crispy. Pizza would be extra crispy, yes. And um, after we're going to hang out for a little bit here, and then we are going to do that BMX show. And I am the spooky BMX show, Night Stalkers. Night Walkers. Night Walkers. Some. But like it's N Y T. N Y. It's cool when you misspell things. Not on your spelling test or language arts assignment. Uh, yeah, don't do that. See, there's the gentleman working on the uh, yeah, on the stuff keep there. Keep, keeping it spooky and safe, and I appreciate that. Um, yeah, and I'm not going to get copyright struck, so... Over there is Spooky Starbucks. Over there is Spooky Starbucks. So you might not hear the actual music for the show, but, um, you know... Do what? We can't take you too close to spooky Starbucks after that pumpkin comment you made. Oh yeah, yeah. The pumpkin spice people would be tackling me because I don't like pumpkin stuff. Oh, oh, here come the rules. Yep, about the smoking areas. Yeah. Disruptive behavior. Yep, they did this a lot last year. Yeah. Thank you. Enjoy your day. Yeah, and you know. We say like they're so strict, but when we were in line for Alien Abyss, we hear one worker say to another that a guest spit on their jacket. Yes. Yeah. One. Someone spat on a worker's jacket. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, they're they're real strict at Haunt, but also like people get it. People and workers get assaulted and attacked and spat upon and that's just not cool guys like come on like whoo there we go yeah yeah seriously like don't be the reason why we can't have nice things you know Yeah, at Osaka, if anyone attacks any of the scare actors, the event ends. Yeah. So, um, yeah. And we might need to implement that here at King's Island. I mean, yeah, you know, sometimes you got to have results, you know?
Spinner at night time. That's a good time. But um, yeah, we did some things in Haunt. We uh, did the Nightwalkers uh, BMX show. So nice. It's so nice. It's basically at its heart a story about a young man who trades up his boring cheerleader girl for a nice goth zombie girl. Or you could say it's also about a cheerleader girl who finds fulfillment in being dead. Yeah, cheerleader girl who finds fulfillment in death. So, yeah, that's always a good time. Then we went to the restroom, and yeah, normally, that like, wouldn't be of note. normally that wouldn't be noteworthy, yeah. But um, the thing of it was, um, a dude got arrested outside of the restrooms. Yeah, so I was in line for the women's room, mm -hmm. and this dude pushes through the line, um, tries to, like, open the door to the family restroom, and a lady gets out of line and, like, pushes him aside, and it's like, someone's in there. So he continues on towards the men's room. He did go in the men's room and use one of the urinals, yeah. And then when I'm getting in line, still in line, but closer, actually inside the women's room, officers come in looking for a drunken disorderly. Yeah. And come out empty-handed because apparently he was in the men's room. He was in the men's room, but... Um, so did you get to see, like, the whole process, like, slapping the cuffs on, Mirandizing? Yep, yep uh, obviously I did not record that, guys, but, um, uh, like, they, they t pushed him to the ground, cuffed him, the led ground. him away. Do what? They pushed him on the ground? Yep, they knocked him on the ground, and, uh, yeah. In the restroom? Oh, no, this was outside of the restroom. He was arrested outside of the restroom. Oh. Yeah, but, yeah. What did he say? Uh, nothing. Yeah. And, like, security was, um, they were scrambling, trying to, like, you know, coordinate the whole thing. But, yeah, uh, opening night at Haunt, guys. Opening night at yeah, Haunt. That's crazy. Yeah. And then we did Hotel San Michelle as our bonus house. Yeah, with uh, the Fright Lane, you get a bonus house, so we chose Hotel San Michel. Yeah. That's always a good time. Now I we're wonder getting... if, like, if they keep track of which house is the bonus house. Uh, I wonder. I, I didn't see them, like, mark anything down as our bonus, so... I don't know. Imagine the nutcase who thinks um, Alien Abyss should be their bonus. Because, like, when we, uh, you know, when we went to the Wax Museum house, the lady there said that their house was the winner last year. Oh, yeah, she did mention that they were the winner, which... So I don't know if they do polls or if they have some way of keeping track of what the bonus house is. Right. Yeah. But that would be a skewed sample, because that would only be people who are, um... You know, only uh, getting fright lane, yeah. So, yeah, I don't know. But yeah, now we're getting ready to do uh, pumpkin either, and then cornered, and that is everything that haunt would have to offer. So, yeah, it's a good time. Alrighty, everyone. So we're getting ready to enter the pumpkin eater scare zone. This is always one of the like highlight scare zones, I think. Yeah. What's up? He got you good. I was like, what? Pumpkin eater.
What's up? That's some quality snorting there, guys. That is some quality snorting. The song's different. I know. It's still good. Look at it's the just... horse. Oh my gosh, the, the skelly horse. Is a baby. Look at him. Make no bones about it. I already used that pun tonight. I know. Yeah. I guess see. I guess you would call that super glue. Because he's bony. Okay. I. I don't know, guys. I don't get paid to write puns. I guess you can call him Mr. Dead. I. I. Mr. Dead. Okay, that was a good one. Oh, here we go. Oh, pumpkin eater, 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 pumpkin eater. Nice. Eater, 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 pumpkin eater. Ah, uh, and I love just like the lights on the drop tower. Ah, uh, and down they go. Nice. Mmm, that is some good sugar right there. Pumpkin Eater, it is definitely a four-star scare zone, you know? All right, everyone, so we just did Cornered. That was a, that was a good one. It, most um, cottage core, house. Most cottage core, and it, it, I got some pretty good scares in that one, so... Yeah, that was definitely a good one. And um, now we're going through Spooderland with all them spooters. <laughs> yeah, so many spooters. Uh, this is right next to the Kings Island Theater where they had the um, Phantom Theater stage show. Very great show. Uh, they don't have it for Haunt. I think that uh, performance has run its course for the year. So... Yeah, look at them spiders. He a hungry boy. You guys gonna feed the little spider? In front of my Spider-Man plushie. In front of my Spider-Man plushie? Yeah. So we're gonna swing by the confectionery, see if they got any sweet treats for uh, Rami and Raggy. And then we'll sign off because it's getting late and I got to work tomorrow. So, uh... Yeah, but very good haunt this year. Very busy today because, you know, Toyota was here earlier during the day. So, like, yeah. And, of course, we have the emergency vehicle um, down yonder there. So, I'm going to, we're going to step to the left and get out of its way. Where is it going? Not sure, not sure where it's going, but I don't want to be in its way. I know, right? Yeah, run us over. You're just adding it to your workload. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead, see what kind of sweet treats there are, and then sign off. It's good. Haunt always feels like it goes too quickly, man. everyone so it's difficult to see but there were skeletons hanging across the VIP area there and um, we just bought some fudge for the family and the uh, skater scare zone is um, going so international scare, international scare zone which is where you get most of the rollerbladers but um yeah we're gonna sign off our vlog here um, very good lovely day night. lovely night it was 
miscommunication. A lot of miscommunication. We but salvaged it. We salvaged it. Saw a surprisingly good movie. I did not think I would like The Nun too as much as I did. Um, yeah. Um, and yeah, like we 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 made some mess ups. Like we didn't plan it as beautifully as we should have. But yeah. like. Learn from our mistakes. Learn from our mistakes. Never bring a bag in to haunt. Um, you can if it's medical or has like medications in it, which was our one saving grace. But like even a lounge fly, that's too big. It ain't allowed at haunts. I saw people with lounge flies. I weren't checked though. Yeah, I saw people. They give you a red tag for a cleared bag, I think which we got. People who were from the day. Yeah, they were people from the day. And so under the laxer security. Yeah, so. Laxer, more lax, laxist, laxerious. Lax, laxer, laxist. The Too most. much lax, you need the toilet. Too much lax, you need the toilet, yeah. But, yeah, that, overall though, we 100% at haunts. We did everything we wanted to, and like, um, so, yeah, a good night, and very busy night. It's opening night. Saw some dudes get arrested. Saw a cast member. We didn't see it, but we heard a cast member talk about how she got her jacket spat upon. So definitely a wild night, but we enjoyed it. Haunt's always a good time. So yeah, we will catch you later, Haunt. Um, we might catch you later this year, but Haunt, it was a good opening night. It was a fun time. So an overall success i think so make sure you guys like comment and subscribe you know you're the best fans of any youtuber in the world and we'll catch you later with some more fun things bye, bye.